In this video, I'm going to show how you can clip your shapefile layers to a particular boundary or area. What you're looking at is a GIS map that actually shows the boundary of the city of Arlington, Texas. And this is that shapefile um, within the contents panel. The other shape files that are in here are uh, rivers and streams for the entire state of Texas, park properties for the city of Arlington, and then watersheds um, within the state of Texas. So for my particular project, I only want to show the rivers and streams that are located within the city. So in order to do that, um, I will use the clip tool. In my ribbon for GIS, my clip tool actually shows up in the analysis tab here located in tools. However, if your clip tool does not show up there, one way to get to that is to select tools and type in clip. Here you will see that the clip um, will show up. So I will select clip. And then the first thing I want to do is select the input feature, which is the file that I want to be clipped. So I want to clip the rivers and streams. And so I will select that file. The next thing I will do is then select the file that I want to clip the rivers and streams too, which is the boundary of the city of Arlington. The next thing I would do is select um, the name, which is, this is saying rivers and streams clip. I can keep it that, or I can name it something else. One thing to keep in mind is when you're naming uh, features in ArcGIS, it's good to separate the letters with underscores. Um, I also need to, dec uh, to decide where I want this file to be saved to. So I would need to actually go to the location that I want it to be saved. So I would like it to be saved in this file location. I've created a folder called shapefiles. I'll select the folder and um, type in the name. So rivers, streams, Arlington and press save. And then I will select run. As you see below, it says clip is completed. As you can see, the rivers and streams Arlington file has been added to the drawing. So if I turn off the rivers and streams, now it only shows um, the actual rivers and streams within the Arlington area.